Hi guys, this is Crivilli again with another pen review. Today we are going to talk about another Diplomat pen. I have already reviewed the Diplomat Aero. You can find that one on my YouTube channel. <clears throat> and uh, if you watch the video, you will see that I was quite amazed by the Diplomat Aero. Um, the one that I'm having here to review is the Diplomat Excellence A Black and Chrome. And uh, this is no different uh, in, in terms of amazing me. I can already say that than the Diplomat Aero. I really like this pen here. This is probably one of my most favorite fountain pens that I'm that I'm having at the moment. I I use that one more or less on a daily basis since a couple of months. I really like that pen. But we talk about the pen in a minute. Let's have a look at the boxing first. Again, uh, as the Aero, the excellence here falls in a similar price category costing in between 80 and 100 euro. It depends a little bit in which finish you get it. It comes in a couple of different finishes and colors. So you can check that out on the Diplomat website or on Amazon or your favorite pen dealer, wherever you buy that pen. Diplomat pack, the packaging has the Diplomat logo on it. That thing here is called the Ink Flower, which is a really nice logo. I like that. It's a German pen manufacturer with a quite almost a hundred year uh, old pen manufacturing tradition. Um, it's the same packaging than uh, the Aero also comes in. This here is metal. You can slide that off. I find for a pen between 80 and 100 euro, this is actually a very, very uh, unique and nice packaging. Not that you would probably keep it or whatever, but I just find um, that it's also nice. The packaging here, this is some kind of a cardboard. Uh, looks a little bit like cloth or something. Very presentable, very, very nice. Um, a sort small cutout here so that you can actually open that thing up here. Then the pen is bedded here on this, uh, on this, um, what is it called? Pillow or whatever. Um, ink flower logo on there as well. You can take that thing out. The pen comes with a converter. I'll show you that in a minute. Pen then also comes with uh, two ink cartridges that you get. Diplomat, by the way, also doesn't make ink. So that is Diplomat ink here. And uh, then it comes, of course, with the Diplomat warranty and service guide with a couple of information on how to fill the pen, how to service the pen and all that kind of stuff. I'm not going into details with that one here. Let's have a look at the pen itself. That is much more interesting. Um, as said, the pen comes in a number of different finishes. Um, there are also two Diplomat Excellence. There's the Diplomat Excellence A and then another one. I'm actually not exactly sure what the other ex Excellence is called. The difference between the Excellence A that I have here and the other Excellence is the clip and the cap. It's like essentially the cap. Um, there's one that comes with a push on cap. That here is a screw on cap. So it's actually screwed on. And with the other one, um, that clip here is more of a wire thing, whatever. That one here is actually spring loaded and is much more massive. So it actually opens like that here, which is very nice, very sturdy. The whole pen is made very, very sturdy. It's quite a heavy pen, so it feels super worthy and uh, uh, super quality and, 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 and all that in the hand is really nice. Uh, this one here is, as said, black, comes in a number of different colors. You also get that one in, I think, in silver and with some kind of like, mm, there's one called Marrakesh that is brownish with some kind of a grid print on it and all that. Very nice. I went with the... Uh, Black and chrome trim never can you with a pen you can never go wrong with black and chrome in my opinion because that looks just super classy here at the finial of the pen top of the cap we have that ink flower logo sticks out here a little bit I actually don't know how they put that in here probably it's glued or whatever but that looks very very nice I like that ink flower logo that looks very nice if you have the pen in a pen pouch or you've slide slide that into the, uh, your shirt pocket looks very nice silver finial here slightly rounded then as said a very massive clip with some kind of gripping gripping stuff down there but then it's actually uh, sort of like smoothened and uh, 
has a small cutout here that is very typical for diplomat pens. Most diplomat pens has a cut, have a cutout here, uh, slightly reminiscent of the cutout of Waterman pens. I have a Waterman here, but the cutout of Waterman pens is slightly longer. So that is very nice. Um, then, um, yeah, otherwise it's more or less just a classy black pen, slightly shiny, slightly glossy, not really prone to picking up fingerprints. It does pick up fingerprints a little bit, but not, it's not all too bad, all that bad. And then it has like, you can actually see my iPhone camera in here as well. And a little bit of myself. Um, this is the, um, end of the cap, then at the end of the barrel, um, that here has a small ridge that you might think is for posting the cap, but that actually is not really used for posting the cap. Um, it's just more or less of a design element. Then I said it's a screw-on cap, something that I really love with that screw-on. Oh, like the, the center band, I forgot the center band. Um, the center band here says Diplomat. Uh, since 1922, that's a little bit yeah, hard to capture. And then um, made in Germany here on the other hand side. Something I love about that screw on cap, it's actually, it only takes a quarter of a turn to uncap that one. And then it really like snaps on, uh, onto the barrel, a quarter of a turn. Re really nice, excuse me, because the pen is actually um, ready to write in no time. That is something that I really like. I, I, I've said that in, in, in several reviews, I really hate it when I have to like uh, twist and turn and screw on a pen until it's finally ready to write. That here, unscrew and ready to go. Uh, has a fairly large section. The section is the same metalish um, lacquered material than the barrel. Uh, very comfortable to hold. I have no issues with that being slippery or whatsoever. Really, really nice. Um, that step down here is not sharp whatsoever. Those uh, those threads here are not sharp. It's also just one thread, so to speak, to just of like like a bayonet twist, keep the cap into place. So you can actually pretty much hold the pen wherever you want. But since, as said, that section here is fairly large, uh, you won't have a problem finding a comfortable grip on that pen. Then it comes with a large number six Yovo nib. I have that one here in fine, as you can see. Uh, it then has the ink flower on it as well. No breather hole and says Diplomat since 1922. And you see a little bit of my favorite blue caught in the ink flower in here, which is Diamine Florida Blue. That's my favorite or one of my favorite blues. The very nice large Yovo feet. Um, that that fine nib is definitely on the wetter and on the wider side of fine. I'll compare that to maybe maybe a Lamy nib or whatever I have here. I'll, I'll see that in a minute. Um, but I find that number six uh, Yovo nib on here uh, goes very well with the overall aesthetics of the pen. I do really like that. Um, I'm I'll do a size comparison in a bit, but that is the perfect size for my hand. That is probably why I tend to reach out for that pen so very often those days, because it's just, yeah, it's, that is just the perfect pen size for me. Uh, yeah, there's nothing, there's nothing to add to that. You can post the cap. Uh, the pen gets slightly back heavy, but not all that much. I mean, the cap is heavy, gets slightly back heavy, not all that much. Why? Because that cap, posts very securely, no chance that thing is going to come off. And also it does post fairly deep. If I put my thumb here and I remove the cap, um, you see that it posts pretty much exactly halfway down the barrel, um, which is why the pen does not get too top heavy because the weight distribution center lays more or less here where you hold the pen. And also it doesn't get too long because as said, the cap sits fairly deep in here. Uh, let's do a size comparison. Here we have the Diplomat Excellence. We compare that to a Lamy 2000, roughly the same size, the 2000 slightly longer. And we may compare that to, of course, a, gets a little bit Lamy-ish in here, a Lamy Safari. And you could probably safely say, and uh, yeah, let's narrow it down to the Lamy Safari. It's pretty much exactly the same size. As a Lamy Safari, uncap both pens, see what happens. Mm. 
Same picture, seems to be exactly the same size than Alami Safari. And uh, that is also why I like the Lamy Safari a lot, because also that is the perfect size for me to write with. It's just, that is my pen size, I guess. Uh, then when posted, the Lamy Safari is a little bit longer. I never write the Lamy Safari posted. I also never write the Excellence A posted, because as said, I just don't need to, because the length is just perfect. I'm saying that for the 11th time or so now. Um, to the end of the review, let's hop into a quick writing sample. Need to get something to write here. Zoom the camera in a little bit, like this, and then, oh, what I forgot is of course, sorry, let me zoom out again. Uh, don't roll away. Opening the pen. Very nice threading here. That is also like quality machining here. Very tight tolerances that just like screws on like a breeze. Comes with a Diplomat converter. Also very nice in that price range, 80 to 100 euro. You get a converter, you get two ink cartridges. That converter holds a fairly generous amount of ink. So that is very nice. As said, inked with, <coughs> excuse me again, inked with Diamine Florida Blue. And as said, that thing, Right, that just screws on like, I don't know, very, very nicely and has a small, I don't know if you can see that, a small rubber O-ring here. Yeah, you can see that, which helps for that to seal very smoothly. Now it's sealed, sits tight, wonderful. This is just a great pen, I'm amazed. So. We zoom in, go with a writing sample. As said, it's a fairly, for a fine, it's on the wider side. Oh, that was now because it was unkept for a while. That normally never happens. Diplomat. I never had any startup issues with that pen. Excellence A. Fine nib. Never had any, excuse my handwriting is always a little bit difficult to write here on the camera so that you can actually also see what I'm doing. This is a very, very rigid steel nib. This is no pressure, moderate pressure, harder pressure. Like, I mean, you get a little bit of line variation, but like really there's nothing much that is going to come out of that nib here because it's a very rigid nib. Um, it's a super smooth nib. You won't feel you hear that? Very nice. Um, you don't, you don't, um, it's a very, very smooth nib, very wet nib, pretty, not very wet nib, pretty wet nib. Diamond Florida Blue is a, is a, is a pretty dry ink. Um, so it still smudges like that. That means that the nib is fairly wet. Um, it's a very, I was supposed to say that is a very rigid nib. It won't give you a lot of line variation. It's totally not meant to write with a lot of line variation. Um, having that said, the pen is probably also useful for people that write a little bit more heavy handed because the nib is very, it's a pretty stiff, rigid nib. Um, that here is as a size comparison. That is a medium, uh, Lamy medium. And that is probably quite, yeah, that is, uh, let me write another A here. You see that is uh, more or less comparable uh, to that uh, to that excellence fine here. So I think you you could safely say that if you are uh, zoom out camera that if you are um, comfortable with the with a medium on the Lamy Safari or something like that, then I would recommend you to get a fine on that pen here. Yeah, then that's all that there is to say about that pen. Um, it's it's it's. I mean. This is one of my favorite pens, uh, and uh, there's there's nothing much to add here. I I really love that pen. Um, the price is definitely okay for such a heavy heavy pen, top quality pen. Um, uncaps very fast, very classy looking pen. Can't go wrong with that. Um, I think this is definitely a pen that. Uh, yeah, like if you if you're new to the fountain pen hobby or you, and you want to upgrade to sort of a nicer pen or also if you've been in the hobby for a while and you're still looking for a nice classy pen for let's say below 100 euro that you can definitely get the pen for um this is a no-brainer. Um really really nice pen. I like that one. Um sorry for me being so excited about the pen, but again, I really like it. Um yeah, that was that with the review of the Diplomat Excellence A. Um, and as always, I will see you at the next review. Bye-bye.